Veshem Hashem Naaseh Venatsliach. This week's parsha is Parashat Mishpatim, a treasure trove of many practical mitzvahs. One of the most interesting mitzvahs, because we're living in a society of bullying, and a lot of people, they act mean, is the Torah tells us in chapter 24, Pasuk 20, Veger lo ta'anu. Do not oppress and abuse the Jewish convert. Because we have to know, we, the Jewish people, have some all-star non-Jews that came and joined our religion and they become, became outstanding, righteous, and backbones of our religion. Like Ruth, the great-grandmother of King David, and Unculus, and there's a whole wonderful list. Now, we shouldn't abuse and oppress them, whether verbally, like say, oh, who are you? You, you think you're such a hotshot and righteous person? You, you used to be so wicked and evil. You didn't used to keep kosher and stuff. No, don't tell the convert that because you're going to break his heart. Rather, you should love him, like it says in the end of the Torah. You should double love him. He's a fellow Jew. You should love him. Love your neighbor as yourself. And you should show him extra love because he had the integrity to go after the truth and convert to Judaism. Now, the Chavetz Chaim says something so beautiful based on the Sefer HaChinuch. The Chavetz Chaim says this in Sefer Mitzvot HaKatzer, Mitzvah 61. He says this not only applies to a literal convert to Judaism that is a stranger from a new religion, but any stranger a newcomer to town, even though he's 100% Jewish blood, you should be welcoming and love him. Because we human beings, our most common necessity is to be welcomed and be included. Just because somebody has an Israeli or Iranian accent because they just came fresh off the boat, FOB we call them, it, it, you shouldn't, God forbid, make fun of them or bully them. But rather, we have to love them. And this is so important in today's society. Now, I would be remiss if I wouldn't mention the Abarbanel, because this idea that we shouldn't oppress, and rather we should love Ger Sedek, people that convert to Judaism, is mentioned 36 times in the Torah. The Rambam brings this down based on the Gemara and Bava Metzia. 36 times the Torah tells us what? You don't abuse, don't oppress, don't bully the convert, rather love them. Why? The Barbanel says. So the Barbanel says something, such a deep psychological insight, which is the basis of all psychology today. And he said this almost five, six hundred years ago. He said, since we as a nation had been abused for hundreds of years by the Egyptians, psychology dictates that person that is oppressed and abused, he has a chip on his shoulder and he's going to continue that perpetual poison and abuse others. That's why the Torah says, stop that spiritual cancer. It's true. The Egyptians... When you were strangers in their land, they oppressed you and abused you. But you as a Jew, you have to be holy and angelic and have integrity and be loving. Even though you were abused by the Egyptians, strange people, newcomers that come to your town or to your city, especially people that left the falsehoods of Avodah Zarah, of idol worship, and now have to cling on to God, them you should be very extraordinarily careful not to abuse. So, and that's really the tragedy why so many people that have been sexually abused themselves, they end up abusing other people. And we had been abused by the Egyptians. So may Hashem help us to always love one another. And we have to be extraordinarily careful to show love and mercy and put out a friendly hand to the convert and the new neighbor that comes from a strange land, a foreign land. And especially, of course, there's many more things to talk about, the orphan and the widow. Those is common sense that we should be extraordinarily 